hey hey hello and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here my name is Shelly and today today <laughs> I'm gonna do the moody book tag so the way with tags they work you you get some questions you answer the questions so here we go question number one do you consider yourself a mood reader yeah <laughs> the very very short answer to that is yeah i definitely consider myself a mood reader i will pick up a book and go like nah and then i'll pick up another book and go like nah and another and another and another and then and then I have like 50 books that I'm currently reading that is an exaggeration but basically that's how it works uh it's it is the same when it comes to like genre of a book as well it sometimes I just need one kind of genre sometimes I need to like switch it up sometimes I need to switch it up in the middle of a book I'm reading so I'm like going from contemporary to fantasy to I don't know what else so many things. Question number two. Do you set TBR lists and do you stick to them? Well... <laughs> so what I've been doing this year at least, I have been setting like specific TBR lists. Have I been sticking to them? Not really. <laughs> I've read like usually at most like half the books I've set out to want to read um I've definitely not finished a TBR list that I've set out for this year so far so um we'll 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 yeah we'll we'll see when that happens um yeah so yes and no <laughs> question number three do books affect you emotionally does the mood of a book rub off on you Oh yes, um, it's not just books, it's basically anything that portrays emotion that will make me feel stuff. I'm sometimes self-proclaimed overly emotional. Yeah, I, uh, it's, it's that very full glass of water and you put some more water in and it overflows basically me in a nutshell or you know a glass of water question number four when you're feeling sad what do you read or do you not read when sad I guess it depends on what kind of sad I'm feeling if I'm like depression sad and I basically cannot do anything then no if I'm sad because I'm like emotionally sad over something I don't know what um yes and no I, I, I'm not sure it's a like I, I think it's like a yes and no kind of a deal so let's say this if I were to read I would pick up something that is like comforting it's something I've reread so many times so it's like a comforting feeling, a comfort blanket. You just snuggle up and feel all cozy and nice again and maybe get not sad anymore. Question number five. Most often, do you use reading to escape, to learn or to critically reflect? I'm gonna have to say to escape because I don't really critically reflect on things not really i mean i i will if you ask me to but out of my own steam no um that's like making reading work and i i'm and we're reading reading is a fun hobby that i do a lot i don't really set out to learn when i read unless i'm actually studying anything but i'm i don't really do that either <laughs> so I mean I do l sometimes learn things from having read but it's not usually my goal when I pick up a book so I would have to say 
to escape. Question number six. What is a book that made you laugh out loud? I mean, I, I'm not sure I've read a book like through, that's throughout made me laugh out loud, except for maybe High Fidelity, but that was a long time ago, so I don't actually remember. I do get like, if there's something funny happening in a book, I will laugh out loud, because I don't keep my emotion inside. I usually let them go out like a fart. Question number seven. What is a book that has made you cry or if you don't cry, one that really moved you? So like I said earlier, I'm a, a bit overly emotional from time to time and I will cry. I cry a lot. I don't hold that in either because it will give you a headache. Um, I mean, crying a lot will give you a headache too, but for this question, I think I will have to say anything by page two. Because basically, whether or not the book is uh, has a happy ending or a sad ending, page two can pull on those heartstrings and make you weep like a little baby. That was very aggressive, but yeah, I, I usually get very emotional while reading one of Page Toon's books. It's, um, yeah. <laughs> Question number eight. What is a book that you didn't even know how you felt about? I'm sure there has to be a lot of them, but I cannot think of a single one. Pass. Question number nine. Are you more likely to read on a sunny day or a cloudy day? I don't know. I mean, if it were outside, probably a sunny day. Because um, cloudy days can get cold and then you'd have to wrap up. And if I have to wrap up while outside, I'd rather just stay in bed. Or on the sofa, something like that. Uh, but if I'm just inside, either. I, I, I don't think I have a preference. I will pick up a book whenever. Question number 10. Do you usually set the mood when you read? Music, light, smells, etc. Not really. I mean, I do prefer to be quiet while I'm reading. Uh, so I don't usually put on music. Um, I mean, I will sometimes have something on in the background, but that's usually because there's someone else around that's listening or watching, watching something, and uh, I don't care for it, so I'm reading a book instead. Uh, I don't really put out candles and stuff because I have crazy cats, and the thought about crazy cats and candles terrifies me. Like a lot, so not really. <laughs> uh, as far as lights go, I, I mean, I have a reading lamp on so I can see the text, but it's not like I turn out the lights, the the overhead lights, and just have my like little reading lamp. I will read in a fully lit room. I will read in a dark room with just that little reading lamp. Um. So no, I don't really set the mood. I just pick up a book and read where I feel like reading. Question number 11. Can you leave from book to book or do you need buffer time between them? I think I'm going to have to say that I can jump from book to book because I usually, I think that's usually what I do. Um, I do prefer if it's like Say I'm reading like Throne of Glass series or something like that. A series like that, I would prefer to have be reading a different book between picking up the next installment. Um, just because a series is like series is this? series like that really like pulls you in and makes you like in that world. So when you finish that series, you're going to be like, I can't read anymore. And that's how you go into reading slumps. And I 
don't want to do that. Um, so if I'm reading a series like that, uh, I would prefer to like pick up something else but in between, preferably something completely different genre rise or just completely different world would also do. Um, but other than that, I just jump from book to book. Because usually when the book is finished, I'm like, okay, on to the next one. <laughs> I don't usually feel like I have to reflect on books a lot. No, I don't think so. <laughs> I'm not a deep thinker, you know, I'm just tiny brained. Not big brain here. No, 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 no. <laughs> So, uh, that was all for this tag, um, yeah, hope you enjoyed, uh, thank you so much for watching, and I shall see you all next time, until then, take care, oh, bye-bye.